most people who apply to Oxford or Cambridge have done GCSEs and there's a lot of confusion as to what GCSE grades you need to get into Oxford or Cambridge and this video should clarify some of that. As usual there's timestamps in the description so you can jump to the bits of video you want to see and hi my name's Ilya and I'm a student at the University of Cambridge studying natural sciences. In this video I'll be talking about A star A B C grades because that's what I'm used to but here's the chart with the new grades for reference. A very common misconception is that you need to have all A stars at GCSE to get into Oxford or Cambridge but this is not true. It is true that most people at Oxford or Cambridge have mostly A stars at GCSE but you definitely don't need to have all of your grades to be an A star. For example, I asked six of my friends what they got in their GCSEs. Two of them got all A stars, two of them got A stars and A's, and two of them got A stars, A's and B's. Although this is a very small sample size, it does show you you don't need to have all A stars at GCSE. And I didn't get all A stars at GCSE, as you'll find out in my next video where I'll go through my GCSE results. Anyway, what this shows is that you don't need to have all these stars at GCSE and that's because your application is considered holistically. This means they'll look at your A-level grades, your reference, your personal statement, they'll take all of these things into consideration. So getting good or bad GCSE grades doesn't guarantee acceptance or rejection. This idea that applications are considered holistically is something that comes straight from the admissions tutors, the people who decide whether you'll get into Oxford or Cambridge. There's much more important things in your application than your GCSE. GCSE grades. I would say that A-level grades are probably one of the most important parts of your application. And if you go on the Cambridge website, it says that a strong performance in year 12 and 13 can make up for a less than stellar performance at GCSE. The bottom line is GCSEs are a part of your application, but not the whole thing. And there's much more important things than GCSEs, such as your A-level grades. Another very important point is contextual information. This means that when they receive your application, they'll look at what school you went to, how well that school does, how well your area does as a whole, they look at your background and they look at your grades in the context of you as a person. If you get five A stars, but you're at a very bad state grammar school versus you get 10 A stars, but you're at a top private school, the person with five A stars would look like a more impressive candidate in my opinion, and I think Cambridge would agree. As part of contextual information, there's also extenuating circumstances. For example, if you were ill during exams or you had a bereavement, that's stuff that they will take into consideration. This brings me onto the whole thing of GCSEs being cancelled because of COVID and you received predicted grades. I would argue that these grades be much less valuable to admission shooters because they're not that accurate. The GCSE grades I was predicted were not very representative of the grades I received. So although I think they will look at those predicted GCSE grades, they will take them with a big pinch of salt. If you do do badly in some of your GCSEs, there's a few things that you should know. What you could do is remark some of your GCSEs. If you're very close to getting a higher mark, or if you think that it's just completely wrong, I think it's worth getting a remark. If you do have a bad GCSE, what you could do is reset it if you want, but if you're resitting multiple GCSEs and if they're relevant to the subject you're applying to, then that probably would look quite bad on your application. And that brings me on to my next point, which is it matters what GCSEs you do well in and what you don't do well in. If you're applying to do maths at Cambridge and you got a B in this managed GCSE, I don't think they'd care. But if you are applying to do maths at Cambridge and you got a B in maths GCSE, I think that'd look very bad on your application. There's rumours that Oxford cares more about GCSEs than Cambridge. Whether this is true, I don't actually know and I'm not sure if anyone really knows, but it's something that you might want to consider. And finally, how many GCSEs you do. Most people do 10 or 11 GCSEs, some people do more. In general, I don't think there's much point doing that many more GCSEs, mainly because they probably won't even be relevant to your course. But if you, for example, speak a language already, you can just sit at GCSE in that language and get a guaranteed A star, which could make your application look better. And then a final point for international students, you don't need to have done GCSEs, as in it's not part of requirements. It's just that if you have done GCSEs, you need to have done well. And Cambridge does recognise international qualifications. If you just go on the website or link in the description, you'll see how they recognise international qualifications and what grades they require. Thank you for watching. Comment your questions and if you subscribe, I'll get back to you. And watch out for my next video where I'll go through my GCSE results.